And tonight, BBC Sky at Night magazine is here at the National Maritime Museum in Greenwich, where they're about to announce the winners of the Insight Investment Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards 2018. For the last decade, the competition has aimed to encourage the union of science and art through the medium of astrophotography. So join us as we take a look at some of this year's best entries and try to find out exactly what it is that goes into taking a truly amazing photograph. What I'm looking for in a winning image is always difficult to quantify. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm an astrophotographer anyway, so I, I like the technical side of it, but for an image to stand out, it has to have that, that sort of feeling about it. It's an artistic thing. It has to jump out and it has to grab your attention and it says, look at me, wow, I'm awesome. And there were plenty of those this year. I think one of the amazing things we see in this competition is how you can blend and meld art and science together in a hobby like astrophotography. And for me, really powerful images are ones where an astrophotographer is mixing both their artistic and creative talents with their technical skill. And that for me is where you get really spectacular, impactful winning images. So the night I took the picture was uh, 15th of March last year and I'd been following Venus through the phases and for uh, I imaged it from my back garden and one of the difficulties is in the west I've got trees so I had a very narrow window to capture Venus when it was that close to the sun and was absolutely delighted when I processed it and found that I got a near perfect present. So I have to say uh, the winner of the Galaxies category I found absolutely stunning and um, the uh, young astronomy photographer of the year this year I thought was absolutely jaw-droppingly beautiful. A beautiful Italian landscape with a wonderful uh, nightscape taken over above it. That night I actually wanted to photograph Moon, Mars and Venus before sunrise but uh, as usually I was there about one hour earlier and so I took the first test shots with my 50mm lens and in the first test shot there was this like meteor in the shot and then I knew it that this shot I, I'm gonna like it and so the computer I saw the, the image and then I really liked it and so that's how I got here. So what makes a winning image stand out from the others? Well that's that's a really difficult question to answer but I guess we've been fortunate over the 10 years the competition's been running that there has always been one picture in each category which has stood out to all the judges. Sometimes there have been arguments about it, but there tends to be one that really catches your eye. And what really scares me is the time when we get a lot of images in there together and they all jump out at the same level. How do we pick then? Who knows? My dad got me into astrophotography um, because, I mean, so we used to live in an area where there wasn't much uh, room for kind of astrophotography. Our garden wasn't that big. And then we, when we moved, um, it kind of kick-started his hobby again. So he started buying this observatory and all of this equipment, and it really fascinated me, really. And um, what made me enter uh, this year actually was um, last year my dad got shortlisted and that really made me feel inspired to enter and it really um, boosted my passion in astrophotography. I would suggest that you start off slow, kind of get the basics, know how to use all of the equipment and all of the softwares to edit your photos because um, there are a few softwares that are actually free to edit all your photos and then uh, just keep on moving forward really. I've been involved in the competition for 10 years now and it's been a huge honour and it's been amazing to actually to, to see how it's developed, gone from this competition which was uh, at one time you know getting a few hundred images to now thousands of images from around the world and now we're really getting the very best astrophotography that's out there and what I'd say to anyone is pick up a camera get outside and try and take a picture because you never know you may capture a composition a, an event or some phenomena that may get you into this competition it's not just the people who have the most technically advanced equipment that win the images in this competition. So is there anything I'm waiting to see after 10 years of judging this competition? 
Well, I always like the pictures which do make me look in awe and wonder. And there have been a few this year, I have to say. But it's a, I can't really quantify what that special image will be. And I don't want to do that because I want the surprise to be there. When I come in, I want it to just say, hello, I'm a winner. That makes my job a lot easier as well. <laughs> That's it for another year of the Insight Investment Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards. Thank you very much for joining us and hopefully we'll see you here next year.